So at what point did Vietnam come into the picture for you? Um, 65. Between when I got out of uh, Advanced Electronics School in 62, I went to uh, Norfolk, well, Dabney, Virginia, which is near Norfolk. And uh, there I went to uh, got a missile radar school. Um, and once I went into missile systems, that was it. I never went back to gun systems anymore. Uh, not officially. So uh, you know, I got a missile radar school was, I think, about 20 weeks. All, most of the advanced schools were about 20 weeks long. So I got there in October 62, and I left in uh, March 63. And by then I was 21, so it was a whole new ball game. Um, I went to sea in San Diego for about four months, and I went to Great Lakes to school um, to learn weapon direction systems. And from there, I went to uh, Bremerton, Washington, where there's a ship being built. It's called pre-commissioning detail. And uh, you get to be there with the people who are building the ship, see what goes into it, and uh, all that kind of thing. It's like watching your house being built. So this was the ship that you were assigned to, that you watched being built? Yeah. And how long were you on this ship? I was there from uh, December 63 until basically December 65. So did you go to Vietnam? Yeah, we deployed to Vietnam in uh, 65. We put the ship in commission in 60, June 64, deployed in, uh, in April 65. And we got back about six months later. And by then I was uh, first class petty officer at uh, E6. And I went to, sh went to shore duty as an instructor at Guidance Missile School in Mare Island. In the States? Yeah. So how long, how long, how much time did you spend in Vietnam? When you talk about the Navy in Vietnam, well, yeah, that's, you're talking 20 miles off the coast. Um, that ship was my first deployment. By then I'd been on four ships, and I'd only been out in the States for six months. Okay. So uh, a typical deployment is six to seven months. The way ships operated during peacetime was uh, in port, when, when you're stateside, you're in port two-thirds of the time. Okay. And you go out and you do local operation because it's expensive to send ships out to operate. You know, it's like you driving your car, okay, or watching it on TV. It's cheaper to just keep them home and do drills in port. Uh, so we'd go out for about two, one-third of the time in port for two-thirds of the time. And when you're in port, you still do drills. You run drills every day. Uh, the old saying is, you know, you train like you fight, and you fight like you train, and that's exactly what we do. You train constantly. You get up, you have breakfast, you go to muster, they put out the word for the day, and you go back and you run drills, you run maintenance. Um, uh, nowadays, they just plug the ship into a computer. Uh, well, in the old days, there was a box on, on it here. That was, that was a trailer. They dragged drag it out to the pier, plug the ship in, and you could run a whole war simulation right there. Nowadays, they don't have to do that put the whole thing in a PC. So, so when you're practicing shooting missiles, I mean, pardon, pardon my, you know, yeah. bit, you know not understanding yeah. missiles real well, but did you ever actually fire them? Oh yeah, we fire, when we go out to oper for local operations, we fire missiles. Um, uh, they have two or three major exercises every year. You have to go out and fire just to see how the systems perform. When you when you plug into one of those computer simulations, it's always going to work right. Okay. So uh, when you go out and you do local ops, then you see how it really works. Okay. Uh, when you're sitting alongside the pier, you plug into the ship's receivers. It always receives the proper target. The target is always doing the proper thing because it's it's a simulation. But when you go out to sea, uh, things break. Uh, run out of parts. Uh, I have four radars. If one radar breaks, uh, it's down, okay? If two radar breaks, two radars break, now you can take parts from one radar to get the other group. So you have a minimum of usually three radars running at any one time. Now when you're talking the, the 60s and 70s, and when you talk electronics in those days, electronics are still fairly new. Okay. Um, this 
cell phone I have has more capability than the computers I worked on. I was loading, I was the uh, frequency coordinator for uh, the task force. All the ships out there basically have the same capability and they all operate on the same frequencies unless you tell them otherwise. So someone has to coordinate which ship's going to operate on which frequency. And we used to load the, the coordination program from paper tape. Okay. And that was long before floppies of mag tape. Right.